Yeah. How are you guys doing? Are you having fun? You guys want to laugh? Uh, we're going to have to change the next comedian. Put a funny one. No, I'm just kidding. This next guy was the 11th president of the United States. He was born in Mecklenburg County, North Carolina. He later lived in and represented the state of Tennessee, a Democrat. Polk served as the Speaker of the House and Governor of Tennessee before becoming president. Everyone, James Polk. I thought you said that intro was awesome. <laughs> you lied to me. Y'all yeah, have to forgive me. I'm a little hungover from all the patriotism yesterday. Like, way too much patriotism for me. I spent most of the day fucking bald eagles. <laughs> while listening to R. Kelly's I Believe I Could Fly on my iPod. I couldn't think of anything more patriotic than that. So. I don't do well with birds. Obviously. Like, I used to get really mad when birds would shit on my car. Then I got a bird bath. Filled it with my piss. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't take all the anger away, but it helps a little <laughs> to watch them bathe, I'll be honest. It was either that or climb a tree and shit in a nest, you know what I'm saying? I'll be honest, I'm pretty lazy. I'm like the laziest person you probably know. Like, I'm not talking lazy like I want a rascal to ride around my house in so I don't have to walk. I'm talking lazy like I want to sit in a rascal, have somebody else with a rascal tow me around my house. <laughs> don't even want to work the fucking controls. Everybody enjoying the paintings? I had to get all of y'all to look at it before I start talking about it. Wouldn't windows be cheaper? <laughs> Well, those are like 500 bucks, I'm pretty sure, windows. And, yeah. I mean support art. I don't understand male grooming, you know. The whole trimming the hedges makes the tree look taller. It doesn't, it makes the toilet look hairier. I just realized I was on stage saying this stuff. That's awesome. Uh, at some point in everyone's life, the question of your ancestors and what country you originate from comes up. For me, it's usually my excuse for doing something completely retarded. Like when a guy's like, hey, asshole, you just pissed in my fridge. And I'm like, dude, I'm Scottish. You know, like the tape. <laughs> and they can't say anything because that would make them prejudice. <laughs> I thought that was going to do better. <laughs> I came to a uh, really big epiphany recently, a life-changing thought, uh, and that is that the McRib is really the transvestite of fast food sandwiches. Like, you don't see them very often. You know? And no matter how good it looks, they're slipping you unexpected meat. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Between your buns. I'm just saying. But like, plus, you can pick them both up at McDonald's. I don't know what else McDonald's are like around here, but in Williamsburg, where I'm from, they're full of girls with penises. <laughs> it's just like, yes, sir, would you like to supersize that? And I'm like, no. In fact, could you undersize it? Or at least circumcise it? Come on. You're making me uncomfortable, Michelle, spelled like Michael. That's good, man. Oh, I wrote uh, the cleanest joke in the world. I thought I'd share with y'all. It's passed down generation to generation. Co comedy actually runs in my family. I know you can't tell because I'd probably be better, but. This is something that was passed down I thought I'd share with y'all. A lady of the evening is riding a gentleman so elegantly. The gentleman says, 
My oak tree feels as though a grizzly bear is using it for a back scratcher. <laughs> oh wait, that feels good. Yes, yes, the birds are flying from the top of my branches. <laughs> and the lady of the evening retires happily, knowing that her money was made easy by premature birds. <laughs> I was a victim of a drive-by uh, recently. Why is that funny? Fuck. I was a victim of a drive-by recently, but I live in the country, so it was a much stranger experience. Like, all I heard was like a really yell, Lee-haw! And some tires screeching. And next thing I know, I'm catching a Bud Light can outside my head. And I'm like stumbling to regain my focus, and all I see is the back of a late model Corvette with a bumper sticker that says, Lost your cat? Check under my tires. <laughs> I thought that was gonna go better too. <laughs> Nothing is more important to rednecks than gardening. Okay? Like I got a neighbor, he's got a garden. He's got a scarecrow, he's wearing overalls and like a rebel flag trucker hat. <laughs> Like even a little fake shotgun he's holding, and I'm like, I don't know about birds, but there's definitely no non-whites messing with his tomatoes. <laughs> I should have known what was up when he referred to his pumpkin patch as the Aryan Circle. <laughs> Guess who's going to be dressing as a ghost for Halloween? <laughs> My neighbor. Let me get out of here. Um. I've been watching Court TV recently. It's a pretty exciting show. I see all these trials where people are, uh, you know, committing like a bunch of bullshit crimes and then pleading insanity to get away with it. And I'm like, I'm thinking about writing a letter. Like, I really think we need to raise the bar on what exactly we consider insane. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you cut somebody up into 12 pieces, but did you have sex with any of the pieces? <laughs> Because if you didn't, that's not that crazy, you know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, you beat somebody to death with a baseball bat. That doesn't mean you're insane. That just meant you were angry and semi-athletic. You know what I'm saying? Try beating somebody to death with a wiffle ball bat. Like, if you haven't figured out by the time you're done doing that, that what you're doing is wrong, you're fucking crazy. Plus that whistling. <laughs> I gotta learn how to whistle for that joke to go better, I think. <laughs> oh, well. One last joke. Uh, there is a such a thing as smoking too much marijuana. I did so twice this evening. <laughs> Trust me. There is a such a thing as smoking too much marijuana, and I'll prove it. The other night, I had smoked too much marijuana. And I learned this because I decided to start building skyscrapers out of Legos. Yeah. Then, pretending to be a terrorist by flying my cock into buildings. <laughs> Just like it hit Tower 2. A cock has hit the South Tower. And I made sure to videotape it, you know, so that later I could be like, look at these secondary explosions, there's no way only my cock did that. I really appreciate everybody's time and attention. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. You guys are a great crowd. You guys having fun? Yeah. All right, cool. Um, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I have a microphone and you guys are listening to me. Test out a couple uh, pickup lines I've been using. So just give me feedback after these. I only got two, so. The first one I've been using is... Uh, it's, um, hey, what's up, girl? I'm a pretty easygoing guy. I'm carefree. Like, I don't care. I got HIV. <laughs> That's my first one. That didn't work yet. Uh, here's, the, here's the other one. Slightly more vulgar, so if you're a parent, you know, just hold your ears. Yo, girl, is your vagina tired? Because I've been having sex with you in my dream. 
Alright, this next comedian is a new comedian to me. I'm excited. Kareem Moon, give it up, everyone. He's a thug. He's an ex-con. 20 years of my senior, serious. 
you know, he, I, I like me a little in that Puerto Rican essay with the, you know, the accent, you know what I mean? Y'all don't understand nothing about that, but <laughs> he, <laughs> he is a good dude when it comes down to it, because he's like, you know what, baby? I can't take you talking to you goddamn much. You on your period, and I know you all in the garden. You scared, you want to talk, you don't want to tell people, you don't want to embarrass me, we don't embarrass each other, we got a whole bunch going, hey. I gotta get it out, y'all. It's comedy, man. This is this is something I gotta get some shit out. I don't care if none of y'all laugh. If you chuckle, did you chuckle for me? You're so pretty. You got glasses like me. We got glasses. Yeah. I'm smart looking. I can be if I didn't say I was Muslim. You wouldn't be. But fuck it. I don't give do that. This thing. The reason why? Why comedy? Why do you all wanna do it? I'm gonna be honest and confess. I like pot. I'm a pie head. Even though I am a mom with kids, man, shit, you got stresses out there. I ain't trying to kill nobody. I could be a terrorist. Thanks for that little pun from before. Because now you know what happened when you did. You were talking to Genghis Khan reincarnated in an Islamic woman that's on her motherfucking period. Do you understand me? No. But I loved it and I totally respect it. And I totally thought it was funny and it was awesome. But back to y'all. <laughs> back to you guys. I like to say the F word. Fuck is awesome. Fuck is a good word. And the last part, I'm gonna hear to rush it off, I'm gonna rush it off. What I think is funny and why I wanted to come here, I have to tell the stories that I do stick my cat in my kids' um drawer so when they go get their underwear, they piss in the pants that they got on. So yeah, comedy's kind of cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed your night, and thank you for letting me ventilate. And you guys are totally awesome. Have a blessed night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Give it up for Green Moon. All right. So uh, I got a I got a blowjob one time while I had a concussion. <laughs> My doctor said it wasn't a good idea. Which, but it also confirmed my suspicion that he was gay. <laughs> he even swallowed. <laughs> yes, he gave me a blowjob. My doctor did. Alright, this next guy, if he was a doctor, he'd give you blowjobs. I haven't seen him in a while with funny guys. Glad to have him back. Tim Wood! Everybody doing? Everybody give a round of applause for uh, everybody who's come up and everybody who's going to come up. So a round of applause. Awesome. Oh yeah, I haven't, I haven't done a comedy in a while. It's been since uh, December, but I'm not going to get into that. Uh, my name is Tim Wood. My full name is Tim Scott Wood, which if you say it fast, Tim Scott Wood, Sounds like I have a plan. I don't right now. But the way you could tell is, I get lightheaded. And it's not because I have a big dick. It's because I'm a bit of an alcoholic. So a rush of blood to anywhere will make me dizzy. <laughs> so, uh, does anybody know the speed limit on Broad Street? Does anybody know? Nobody fucking knows. Exactly! Nobody fucking knows the, the fucking speed limit on Broad Street. The other day I was driving down Broad Street and I was going like 46 and uh, this guy was like on oh my ass. And then when I got to the light, he pulled up beside me and yelled out his window and he said, if you're going to be in that lane, asshole, you need to drive faster. So I was like, whoa. The next couple, you know, a couple days later I was going 55 on Broad Street. I know that's a big jump, but I wanted to be sure I was going fast enough. So I was going 55, boom, cop lights. I was like, fuck. So then he pulls me over, and we're in the gas station, and uh, he comes in my car and he goes, you know why I pulled you over? And I was like, yeah, I was speeding. He goes, no, asshole, if you're going to be in that lane, you need to drive faster. <laughs> it's a fix. But anyway, yeah, driving sometimes pissed me off. You ever see those cars or vans 
They have like the stickers on the back where it's like a mom and a dad and a shitload of kids on the back. Has anybody seen that? Nobody's seen that. Okay, okay. Um, what the fuck? That's just like a lighthouse for pedophiles. Like they're just drawn towards it. Like if I were a pedophile, I'd completely forget what I was doing. I would drive behind you, eggs, milk. Look at all those sexy stick figure kids. Fuck, what was I doing? Fuck it, I'll just follow you home. And uh, you know, you can always tell like the people who really have kids, they have their stickers on the back. But the pedophiles, they have them on the side of their car, and they just put X's through them every now and then. <laughs> oh, he's still here. Okay, sorry. All right. <laughs> yeah, so, pedophilia. I'm not a pedophile. I have a mustache. But I'm not a pedophile. I have a mustache because... <laughs> Some people call it a flavor saver. Because you get your food in there and you can save it for later. Yeah, mine's a flavor saver. I'll give you an example of why it's a flavor saver. The other night I was eating spaghetti. And then later on I was like, hmm, spaghetti. Those are some spicy balls. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> spicy meatballs. I was like, hmm, that was good. And then later on I was like, okay, applesauce. I didn't have that tonight. I wonder where that came from. Okay. And later on, I was like, what the fuck, Play-Doh? It was saving flavors from my childhood. Like, it had a hard drive on it. I was saving it. Everything. All the pictures. All the moments. I wish I could download some of those flavors, though, into my public hair and um, share them with other people. I hope you like Play-Doh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got lightheaded. <sighs> I had to shake it off. I had to think of baseball. That helps. Um, yeah, so what else? Twilight. Anybody here like Twilight? <laughs> Anybody here like... <laughs> Anybody here like True Blood? All the vampires? Yeah! Awesome! Anybody like Vampire Diaries? Everybody would have beaten you up if you would have said yes. Is anybody here a vampire? You're a vampire? You want to suck my blood? <laughs> why are they sucking blood? That's gross. You want to know why? Because that's how you get AIDS. Read National Geographic. All of Africa has AIDS. They're all vampires. I just wanted to say that. <laughs> all right, guys. That's my dad. Thank you. I'm so bored. Awesome. Good to see you again, Tim. Wood? Woody? Did you guys see Toy Story 3? Anyone not see it? All right, spoiler alert. All right, Woody gets a boner. It worked with the car. Just kidding, I just wrote that. No, just kidding about that. I went to Disney World with my family and said it the whole time down. They didn't like you do. All right, ladies. This next guy is single. He's in online dating on the internet. You can find him on JDate. And he's also a 720 on freecreditreport.com. <laughs> Give it up for my man, Joshua Saucier. Yeah. Thank you, John. I, uh... I'd like to get something off my chest, if that's all right. Uh, so as John insinuated, uh, I am, I'm Jewish. I'm one of the rare Jewish comedians here, which is shocking. Uh, but I was, uh, I was on Facebook the other day, and uh, much like J-Date is the Jewish dating site, 
I was trying to figure out why there isn't a, uh, a Jewish-themed Facebook site. And then I figured it out. It's already Jewish Facebook. I log on and it says, you haven't talked to your cousin in a while. Maybe you should send him a message. <laughs> your brother's a fan of being a lawyer. Why aren't you? <laughs> I, uh, I woke up this morning and I was tagged in a note from my mom that just said, eat, eat, you're so skinny. <laughs> I made that part up. My, uh, my mom is not my friend on Facebook. Uh, actually, uh, no one is. I'm kind of sad. I have, I have one Facebook friend. Uh, it's Tom from MySpace. <laughs> so there are two types of people in this world. People who finish sentences. When I was a kid, I... Um, <laughs> Uh, apparently, I did this really cute thing where uh, where you could come to me when I was like five, and my parents would go, "Oh, Sean, Josh, Josh, what sound does a fish make?" And I would just go. <laughs> <laughs> and apparently, that was a great trick when you were a little kid. Uh, every time I go to family gatherings, they still do that to me. <laughs> I, you know, I run into my aunt. And she's like, oh, okay, Josh, what sound does a fish make? The knives are in the kitchen, kill the family. <laughs> Get you. Um, thanks. Uh, I would, uh, I feel bad. I, uh, I'm sorry for wearing my bathing suit on stage. <laughs> um, a friend of mine is, uh, is having a daughter. Uh, you don't have to clap, I made that up. Um, but he, uh, he comes up to me the other day and says, hey, you know, it's, it's great, I just, in today's world, I hope she doesn't grow up to be a lesbian. Really? I'm not a dad, but I'm pretty sure if I had a daughter and on her 16th birthday, she said, Daddy, Daddy, I don't ever want a penis inside me, never, ever. I'd buy her a car and a pony. <laughs> I, I get, guys don't understand. Guys have like this weird place in the back of their head where lesbians live and they don't understand them. <laughs> Every guy in here, every single one of you, all of you, I, I do too, we all secretly believe that there's like one magic pickup line that if you just rattle that off, you will convince the lesbian at the bar and her girlfriend to go home and have a three-way with you. <laughs> it doesn't exist. But in case you don't believe me and you want to keep trying, I will, I will give you my notes. Uh, ladies, I've come to save Holland. It's not that line. Oh... Uh, I, uh, I actually have, uh, I have a very good friend who's a lesbian, and uh, she's annoying. Like, there's nothing, there's nothing wonderful or porn starry about her. She's just stupid. Uh, we were hanging out the other day. She was getting drunk and she's like, you don't even understand. I'm, I'm in touch with the feminine mystique. I'm like a cat. I'm a cat. No, you're not. The only thing you and that cat have in common is that your breath smells like tuna. <laughs> and then her breath whispered to me, the guys are in the kitchen, kill the family. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Josh Sazier. <laughs> Josh Sazier, everyone. Guys, you guys are great. This is awesome. This is one of the best nights here yet. Right?